Hey guys, how's it going? I was about to say what day it is, and then I realized, as usual, I have to sit and think, hey Brittany, um, it's Tuesday, right? It is Tuesday. Um, those of you that know me, hey Alpha Prep, that you know me for a while, you know that I'm always, thank you for the hearts, you guys rock. Um, I'm always wondering <laughs> what day it is. So believe it or not, I'm going to get right to the point um, because I am heading out to meet a friend for a late workout. Alpha Brett, how are you? C. Gallagher, hello. Henry, Mac, I was just going to talk about peanut butter, but we'll do that another time. Trainer Paige, you're the bomb. Um, how are you? Henry, you're just awesome. You're just an awesome guy. Um, by the way, let me just do a, a free, um, massive promotion. Um, Henry, and by the way, all of you guys that are tuning in, you should be checking out. Uh, this is a great way if you're new to Periscope to meet meet new friends, but keep the old. Um, when you see comments down there below, follow each other. Um, it's a really great way to build your audience. Periscope is awesome. Great way to connect. Um, and I've met a ton of people. So also let me give um, Henry's company a great shout out because they have the bomb. If you're, who, how many people love peanut butter? Henry from Nuts and More, right there. Um, Nuts and More has some of the best peanut butter. Soft plug, I'm all out of mine, Henry. They have like white chocolate. I, I don't even know how, let me just tell you, every single jar of that stuff is the bomb, so you gotta get some. They, are, they didn't tell me to say this, swear to God. Um, so anyway, um, hey Elise, how are you? Um, Elise Baker, follow her. She has awesome dance DVDs. Um, so you guys, I will keep saying hello, but I want to get to the point. Um, for those of you that are new and don't know me, my name is Kelly Olexa. I am CEO and founder of Fitfluential. You can, hey, thank you. Um, you can find us and all of a lot of the people that are here uh, that will be joining to uh, this Periscope over at fitfluential.com, F-I-T, thank you so much, Retrofit Austin, you're always awesome, F-I-T-F-L-U-E-N-T-I-A-L.com. You can follow me on my blog, which is kellyolexa.com, K-E-L-L-Y-O-L-E-X-A.com, and I tend to scope on two things. You guys are so awesome. Yay, Elise Baker's putting up a post on Fitfluential. Guys, check out her dance DVDs. That's all I have to say. Um, so I tend to scope about two things of which, around which, excuse me, I have a ton of passion. One is obviously fitness, health, and wellness, um, and getting people excited and having the ability. Sorry, I have to put these uh, notifications for Periscope down. Um, getting people excited about fitness, health, and wellness, and letting them understand that they can fit in fitness no matter where they are in their lives. Part of what I'm going to be talking about today in a second, fitness BS, that I'm just going to call out, and I think it will be helpful for a lot of people. Um, but then number two, because I have founded my own company, and it's become very successful, and it's very rewarding and inspiring for me, I've started to become extremely passionate about getting other people um, seeing their own ability to start doing their own thing. And instead of feeling like, hey, Body by Hannah, um, that they have to stay stuck in a job or that they can't do it. Trust me, if anybody can, can, if I can start a company and make it profitable and successful and continue, and I'm not the only one, it's my team that makes it happen and my ambassadors that make it happen. But I started with the idea is my point. If I can do it, you can do it. So What's the fitness BS I'm talking about? And let me give you a quick preview of what I'm talking about. You see this? Pinterest? How many of you guys are on Pinterest? Um, I want you to tap. Give me some taps. Hey, Gonzalo. Um, or feel free to just leave in the comments below. Let me know if you guys are on Pinterest. I know we're all obsessed with it and it's awesome. But as I was doing some pinning, I and this was last night, I always tend to do pinning before bed. And uh, hey, Spot on Wellness. Um, it, you know, you are everybody, and, and I know most people are going to, and hey, Marsha, um, we're obsessed with Pinterest. It's awesome. If you're fit, my Fitfluential bloggers and you're on here, you know it's a tremendous uh, boost uh, for your traffic. It's wonderful. I am addicted to Pinterest. Um, I just want somebody to make it possible that whatever I have pinned becomes mine. So we're working on that. But here, I'm just going to randomly share with you. As I was scrolling through Pinterest, 
I started to notice some stuff. And tell me if you guys either double tap and give me some hearts when I'm talking about this or let me know in the comments. I started to see a lot of posts like how to get um, ready for your wedding in a week, how to get skinny arms by doing these five moves, how to get your abs um, rock hard with these moves. And here's one right now. Okay, can you see this? The five best exercises to lose belly fat. Um, some of these are, are great. Nine fitness tips for a killer body. That's not what I meant. Six secret moves for slimmer hips and thighs. Okay, you guys might not know where I'm going with this, but I'm going to make a point. Four, 14 moves for the perfect bubble butt. That's probably okay. Um, let's see. What else? You know the ones I'm talking about. I mean, I, the reason I wanted to pull these up live, <laughs> Henry, <laughs> the point is... What upsets me the most when I see posts like, here's how to get your arms skinny. Here's how to get Jennifer Aniston's arms. Um, or here's a step of the day, fire up your core. Workouts are fine. But when I see anything where it's like, here's how to, I saw one last night and it said, use these five moves to get that thigh gap, ladies. Don't even get me started on the, the thigh gap issue. But it's like, here's the thing. For those of you that are on here, and if you're watching this in the replay, and maybe you're a newbie, maybe you have lost weight and you want to start amping things up and <laughs> maybe you want to start amping things up and adding some muscle, right? You want to take things up a notch and, and you're inspired, but you really want to go for it. What I think is missing, and this is where I'm so passionate about what Fitfluential and our ambassadors and what our site and our platform can do, is to get rid of these myths. And a lot of this, I'm just going to say it, the fitness bullshit that is out there, because the people that need the most direction and kind of the most simplifying it down, simplifying success down, they're the ones that are going to see that kind of stuff. Here's the thing, people. If you want your thighs to have a gap and you have thighs um, like mine, okay, my thighs have been touching each other ever since they met, okay? They're real close. And my thighs, I don't care what moves I do. And I love muscle, okay? Back in the day, I wanted to have Gwyneth Paltrow thighs, believe it or not. Um, and there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. I don't want to get off track here and say that you should want or the aesthetic that I, I want. I like a much more muscular look, okay? So there's nothing wrong with wanting to have a thinner, leaner, more toned look. If that's what you want, that's fine. What I'm saying is if you're built a certain way and you're trying to get a thigh gap, you can do exercises till the cows come home. You ain't gonna get a thigh gap, okay? That dog ain't gonna hunt. And, and what I can't stand about stuff like this or programs that say, you know, do this and you'll get ripped in 90 days or this exercise or this workout DVD can burn a thousand calories in an hour. How many of you guys have seen this? My thighs are so sexy. They can't quit touching each other. I love that one. You guys have to follow her. Uh, that's so true. How many have you have you seen infomercials? Maybe they don't do infomercials as much in the day. I'm old, people. Um, but you've seen infomercials, and they, they go, um, I'm a power lifter. My thighs are muscly and chunky. Love it. Um, it feeds eating disorders more. I, I agree with you. But how many of you have seen commercials for, you know, back in the day it was The Firm or when – Tybo first came out and they, Tybo, I'm such a Tybo fan. Any Tybo fans in the house? And they would say, burn a thousand calories in an hour. I don't have thighs, I have quads. <sighs> That's right, you do. Um, and y you would see something. And also, this goes for machines at the gym. Totally agree. We need to be happy in our bodies as we achieve our goals. And you guys, let me tell you, I'm working on the self-love. I'm working on accepting myself along the way. But what I'm telling you is when people are just getting started, seeing this kind of stuff, so seeing that, hey, you can get on this elliptical machine at the gym and it'll burn 700 calories an hour. Guess what, people? You burn a different amount of calories per hour than I do. And someone who's 100 pounds burns a, a lot less calories an hour um, than somebody who's 500 pounds. And it also depends on the level of exertion. Um, it depends on, you know, quite a lot of factors. All of us have different DNA. You can't just buy any piece of equipment. You can't buy a DVD that is selling itself and saying, you know, we burn 700 calories. It's known to burn 2,000 calories. 
the only thing that the only way you're going to know how many calories you're burning is if you have a heart rate monitor period and it's strapped up and and it's measuring your heart right thank you <laughs> fit sister that's the only way you know what your caloric burn is and it pisses me off you guys when i was married sorry every time i say that i have to just like swallow funny it's the fitness professionals responsibility to put science based information out there true um but see this is where it bothers me because I feel like it's the newbies that won't be consulting a fitness professional first. They're not going to be talking to a dietitian. This, I will say this, heavy plug for Fitfluential. This is why I love our community because we have dietitians, we've got trainers, we've got regular people, we've got fitness coaches, we've got people that have been there, done that, that can kind of help get the bullshit word out there. Sorry that I'm swearing, you guys, but this is where I call it. I get very upset about people that are told wrong messaging and might get put on the wrong track and and waste time. Okay, newbies, listen to bioscience. <laughs> Henry, I just love you. I hope you do a scope soon. Um, but you know, if you're seeing this stuff about, hey, do you want to have that thigh gap? Do these five exercises. Or do you want toned arms in a week? Let me tell you something. If you are somebody who is 50 pounds overweight, if you're 20 pounds overweight, if you are 100 pounds overweight, you can do those exercises till the cows come home. If you're not fixing your diet and, you know, again, we don't know all the extenuating circumstances, but I I fear that people will see this kind of stuff, and it's in all of the magazines too. I see it all the time. Do you want to get ready for the Oscars, just like Jennifer Aniston? Do these five moves and get sexy and get red carpet ready. No, you're not going to get red carpet ready. In fact, Jackie Warner has a book that I bought several years ago, and it says it. This is how I get my clients red carpet ready in ten days. Well, most of Jackie Warner's clients are probably already a hundred and maybe one pound and they're probably doing like diuretics and detox and having four crackers for a week so maybe they can get red carpet ready but they're already red carpet ready so all of this can you tell i'm getting fired up about this you know all of this if you're a newbie such a good scope my favorite a pound of muscle burns 50 calories a day at rest um no more like seven good see this is the kind of stuff that should get out there but you guys do you not They'll, the gyms will even post stuff and they'll go, take our spin class. You can burn 500 calories an hour. So you know what happens? Someone that's just getting started is going to go sign up for a gym membership and they're going to go, I just took a spin class last night and they said it burns 500 calories in 30 minutes. So they're going to take a spin class and then they're going to assume they burned 500 calories when maybe they didn't. Now, spin is maybe not the best um illustration here because you can do a spin class and although I haven't done one yet shame on me um I hear they're very intense and I do want to do one very soon um but you know say you did they'll say hot yoga right and people go hot yoga burns 1500 calories in an hour it's amazing I can't tell you how many times I've read something like that let me tell you this I tested myself out in a 90-minute hot yoga class because I just wanted to see what it was like for somebody that had weight to lose, um, sound bites and the promise of quick fixes sell magazines but won't create change. It takes work. Totally agree. See Gallagher. Totally agree. Um, so I went to a hot yoga class that's very intense that I get a really great workout in. Um, Corey was leading it and I put my heart rate monitor on. And if I'm correct, I think I burned 220 calories. Um, I also use my heart rate monitor and I've checked most of my DVDs and I love to do kick-ass workouts. And I love you guys that have been watching my blog, you know this for a while. Workouts to me aren't fun unless I'm completely sweaty and disgusting. And when I kick butt, and again, I'm not, I don't have a hundred pounds to lose. I think people that have more weight to lose will burn more calories. But you know, for me, if I followed some of this stuff, it's about people preying on the hope and yeah. And you know what? People know how much uh, consumers will spend money on losing weight. So, you know, they push stuff out there because they know that people go, oh my God, that burns 500 calories. Oh my God. You know, I can sign up for this um, diet system and I'll lose 20 pounds in two weeks. Absolutely. Um, excuse me. But, you know, back to what I said about my DVDs, I tested half of these DVDs and with my heart rate monitor and 
even when I kicked the most butt and was soaking sweating and completely spent, I think the most I've ever burned in an hour with stuff like insanity, whatever, like 500 calories. Um, there was a time when I was getting, and Valerie Waters was yelling at me, Valerie, and I mean politely, but Valerie Waters, if you're not following her on here, you have to. She's a fantastic celebrity trainer, Valerie Waters. Uh, she's a dear friend of mine, and she has also provided um, fitness coaching for me, and she's wonderful. But, you know, she had to yell at me a couple years ago because I got so obsessed with how many calories I was burning that I would do an hour's workout and I'd go, oh, I'm only at 500 calories. And I thought I had to burn a thousand calories all the time. So I'd work out for like two hours and I'm like, that's not enough. So I'd keep doing more. All this stuff, it's so misleading. And, and I think it's so misleading. Probably a lot of people here on the scope, you know, you know, a lot of you are trainers, you've chimed in, but I hope that some people that see this, and certainly it's not the only place I'm going to talk about it, um, are newbies and you'll understand that, hey, guess what? If you want to start getting in shape or you want to amp things up, you don't have to do some extreme 90-day makeover. You don't have to do one program and you've got to pay attention to the fact that, I mean, I don't want to say this is the only thing that's going to help you, but a heart rate monitor is really going to help you. And and that's not why I did this. This is not sponsored by any of our clients. Um, Thank you, Chrissy. Um, but what I fear is that newbies will see either stuff like this that says, do these five moves. You know, I saw one. It was that Tracy Anderson. And she's like, stand here and twist your arms like this. Now, I have no doubt if you do this for like five hours, it'll burn your arms. But if you have 75 pounds to lose and that much fat, you can do that all day and not sleep for like seven weeks. You're not going to tone your arms. And the thigh gap is never going to happen. You can't change your body. You can't get rock hard abs if you did a billion sit-ups if you don't change your diet and you don't lose fat. And guess what? You don't lose fat by doing crunches. Tracy Anderson is a dangerous person. I agree. What I can't believe is, is it Self Magazine? It's either Self Magazine or Health Magazine that features her every month. I'm like, do you know that she says that you can like change the shape of, or not the shape, what does it she say? She actually talks about like, if you do this, then you can actually change your muscle to like fascia. And people believe her and they listen to her. Hi, Carrie Burroughs. So number one, myth number one, especially for the newbies, and if it's not newbies, pass this scope on, share it, tell your friends. Um, you know, if you're on Pinterest and you see this stuff that says do these things, for your shoulder. If you want to get shoulders like this celebrity, do these three moves. You can't just do three moves and not change your diet and not have a holistic, like whole comprehensive world approach about your fitness, health, and wellness and just get killer shoulders. You're not going to get Linda Hamilton or Madonna arms by just doing four moves with no weights. Um, you've got to look at the whole program. And furthermore, again, you don't need an extreme workout. Um, you can just start making new additional better practices every week start by walking then doing walking running then add weights in then start making changes in your diet but you know compound it um start doing little things at a time i've stuck with more stuff that makes no sense i have stuck with more habits when i just kept adding better habits and then the bad ones fell away and you're talking to someone here that used to be a psychotic like all or nothing, this diet plan or that diet plan. But number one, don't be um, fooled by these crazy things on Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I highly recommend it. Um, but when you see something like that, that is basically suggesting you can spot reduce or spot firm, it's baloney. You have to be mindful of the whole picture. Number three, if you're buying fitness equipment for your home and you're buying like an elliptical or a treadmill and any salesperson in the store, thank you for the hearts, guys. I really appreciate it. I got so fired up that I wasn't even thanking you for the hearts, but I really do. Um, if you're getting ready to buy a treadmill or you see something on TV and whether it's this fitness brand or that fitness brand, and they're like, this is awesome. You can, and they usually try to make it like an infomercial. You know, you can burn up to this much weight and, and they'll show somebody who's really overweight and they show them getting lean on this, you know, like elliptical walk-in machine. It's not that simple. You have to change your diet. It's a lifestyle and they cannot tell you how, how fast you're going to lean out, how many calories you're going to burn, and if that's safe for you. So, 
Don't also pay attention to the caloric burn on machines. I don't mean to do this. At the gym, okay, I bought a, uh, when I was married, I think I said this, such a bad taste in my mouth. Um, when I was married, I had, um, my husband bought a, um, what's the word? Like an elliptical. And I did a test. Um, I had my heart rate monitor on and I did like a 40 minute elliptical, maybe it was 30. And I compared what the readout monitor, you know, when you, you hold the handles and it supposedly is reading your heart rate and telling you based on your height and your weight and your age, what you're burning. I compared the two. And what do you think it showed for like 40 minutes Let's say it was half an hour. I think for half an hour, whatever I measured, the machine told me I burned 850 calories. My heart rate monitor said 335. I wrote a blog post about it. And it's that different, guys. Now, caveat for a lot of people that are new, if you're just starting, hi, stop running, dad. If you're just starting and you're heavier and you have more weight to lose, typically, and my certified trainers, you can chime in, or my doctors or nutritionists, if you're here, feel free to chime in in the comments and correct me. Um, it was that big of a difference. Um, I believe that if you are generally heavier, you will burn more calories in an hour. Um, so in other words, if somebody like, like me, I feel that I have 10 more, 15 more pounds to lose, right? Um, I'm going to burn less calories when I get on a machine and push it than somebody that has 150 pounds to lose and is pushing it. I could be wrong. I hope I'm summarizing okay. But anyway, really do not get yourself off track because here's what's going to happen, people. If you're a newbie and you get on the, say you get on the treadmill because someone told you that if you get on the treadmill and you do this for half an hour or this for an hour, yes, it's physics. You're moving more weight. Okay, good. I do. <laughs> Would have felt stupid if I said the opposite. If you get on the treadmill because someone told you that doing this machine or that machine or the elliptical burns 700 calories an hour, or someone tells you that a spin class burns this many calories an hour, or somebody tells you that insanity burns this many calories an hour, and then you go and you do it, and maybe you're a newbie and you've done four of those a week. So you assume that you've burned 2,000 calories. And therefore, when it's happy hour with the colleagues on Friday night, you think it's okay to have that extra margarita or the extra order of buffalo wings. And then guess what happens? You've been busting your tail for three weeks and you haven't lost a pound. Then you're going to be upset. You're going to feel like you've wasted time. Thyroid and general metabolism may be shot so your body doesn't burn calories in the same way. Pfft. Hello, hypothyroid and uh, insulin resistant here. Issues.com. But do you see what I'm saying? This is why I get so upset because I don't like the idea that people that don't know, they likely haven't started working with a trainer yet. They haven't connected with a nutritionist. They don't have the information to be able to know that, wait a second, you know, I've been at this three weeks and I've been busting my tail. I've been going to the gym. I did that insanity workout. Mm. I did, um, let me... Oh, Amanda's live too. Amanda. Um, you know, they think I've been doing spinning. You know, I went for spinning three days a week and that's supposed to burn a thousand calories. I burned an extra 3000 calories. That's supposed to be close to a pound and I haven't lost anything. In fact, I've gained five pounds, but they don't know that realistically they might have only burned 300 calories and then they might have over accommodated and eaten more or drank more alcohol or whatever it is. So, Again, don't listen to the machines. Get yourself a heart rate monitor. Don't listen to hyped up claims about, you know, this workout burns this much. No one can tell you how much you're going to burn in your workout. Um, what you should do, everybody's doing periscopes. Um, what you should do is just start making improvements um, and, and keep making improvements, but do a lot of research. And again, this is where I'm going to do a heavy plug for Fitfluential. Um, tune into our community. We've got trainers. We've got um, you know competitors. We have athletes. We have all kinds of experts with a lot of insight. And that's what they're fired up to do. They're fired up to help other people. Um, obviously, I'm fired up. I won't leave you. I, I your, your comment just disappeared, so I can't. Um, I'm so sorry. What did you, so Alpha Prep, I'm so sorry, your last comment disappeared. Um, but if you're saying goodbye, I'll talk to you soon. Um, so again, if you guys are newbies, just educate yourself. Everything I say um, that I tend to get fired up about, 
ultimately, here's the deal. Knowledge is power. Um, the more that you know about nutrition, the more you can make, make better choices. The light in here is getting really funny. Um, the more that you know about workouts and what to expect. You just mentioned Amanda's scopes are that good. Of course, clearly. Um, the more that you know about the BS that's out there, the more that you can avoid it. And, and it doesn't mean that you should be depressed about hearing this um, Yes, everybody go uh, follow Amanda Tress. Is she Amanda on here or is it Fit Parenting? I think it's just Amanda Tress. So educate yourself, understand this stuff. And I say this to get uh, those of you that are newbies understanding the BS. But number two, don't lose hope because there are plenty of great people out there, tons of whom were on this scope, that are willing to provide advice. They've been there, done that. They can say, no, you know, you don't need to worry about that. Just do this. And ultimately... Baby steps work, adding new habits works, taking your time works, um, simple things work. Moving more, eating better. I'm not gonna say moving more, eating less. Usually it's eating less, but just eat better. Start making better choices little by little. Don't go to extremes and just educate yourself. But again, those are some of the, the BS things that I just had to call out. You can't thin your thighs by doing the thigh master overnight, okay? I think we all know that, but some of the stuff on Pinterest, some of the stuff on infomercials and some of the workouts that are coming out, educate yourself, get yourself a heart rate monitor, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And again, I will put this uh, video up on YouTube. From now on, all of my scopes will be edited nicely, potentially sometimes divided into three. Um, and then I will also have more information on this on my blog. Thank you so much to all of you guys for tuning in. I may have a scope later if we get back from dinner. Um, later on about some of my business stuff. And then starting next week, I will have a schedule. Thank you so much, Marsha. That makes my day when people get something out of my blabbering. Um, but all of my scopes going forward starting next week will be scheduled. Thank you so much for all the hearts. You guys rock. Um, hey, Blonde Runner, how are you? And um, they will be scheduled. And you'll also be able to see like when I'm doing a business talk, when I'm doing entrepreneur business, when I'm doing uh, more fitness specific. So that way you can know, you know, um, and pass it on to, you know, if you're if you're not a newbie, in it, for example, in the future, you might be able to say, hey, you know, to your newbie friends, tune into, tune into this and then you tune into the more maybe advanced topics or the business topics, whatever. And of course, feel free to email me if you have questions or ideas, things you want me to cover, um, kellyolexa at gmail.com. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Go hop on over if you can, grab Amanda, and thank you as well for listening. You guys are awesome. And hopefully I can stop my broadcast because that's always been my issue in the past. See, guys, this, why is, is it Android? Every time I press stop, it doesn't stop. Maybe it just wants me to keep talking. No, that's not the case. Seriously, if I have to like press my phone. <laughs> this is like so old. I'm gonna have to press my phone off, turn my phone off. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. This is my world. Welcome to my world. And now my phone won't turn off. <laughs>